This video will show you how to replace the carburetor in your Champion 2000 to 2500 watt inverter. Always turn off your engine and let it completely cool before working on your unit. Ensure that the fuel valve is in the off position. Remove the small access panel on the side of the unit. Then remove the spark plug cap and always leave it disconnected when working on your unit. Step 1. Remove the access panel on the side of the unit. Locate the fuel drain hose and loosen the drain screw on the bottom of the carburetor and empty any fuel into an approved fuel container. Step 2. Remove the fuel cap and unscrew the fuel lock nut. Then, using a Phillips screwdriver, remove all screws on the front, back, and side panel, as well as the four screws on the handle. Remove the rear panel and the side panel, and then gently unhinge and loosen the front panel. Then, with a 10mm socket, remove the three bolts holding on the side panel. Your unit may have a solenoid connected to the panel. If it does, disconnect the wire connector and fully remove the side panel. Step 3. Remove the breather tube from the valve cover and the air cleaner pipe. Step 4. Using a 10mm socket, remove the two bolts holding on the rubber air cleaner pipe and fold it out of the way or remove it completely. Step 5. Make a mark on the choke cable wire using a permanent marker, and then with an 8mm wrench and a Phillips screwdriver, loosen the cable wire clamp. Then, gently lift the fuel tank to access the choke cable clamp screw. Loosen it with a Phillips screwdriver and remove the choke cable wire. Step 6. If there is a solenoid at the base of your carburetor, disconnect this wire connector. And then locate the stepper motor wire and disconnect it from the control panel. Cut any cable ties if necessary, and gently lift the fuel tank. Follow the stepper motor wire back, and undo the wire clip to free the wire. Step 7. If you have a dual fuel unit, locate the propane fuel line and loosen the hose clamp with a Phillips screwdriver. Then firmly remove the fuel line. Then locate and unclip the fuel vent line. Step 8. Slide the old carburetor off the studs and locate the gasoline fuel line. Then, using a pair of pliers, loosen the clip and carefully detach the fuel line to fully remove the old carburetor. Step 9. Take your new carburetor and first, reattach the gasoline fuel line. Make sure to replace all gaskets and slide the new carburetor onto the studs. Now, reverse these steps to reassemble your unit with your new carburetor. For dual fuel units, replace the propane fuel line and secure with the hose clip. Reconnect the stepper motor wire and the solenoid wire, and then secure the stepper motor wire with the wire clip. Reinsert and align the choke cable wire with the mark you made, and tighten the cable wire clamp with a Phillips screwdriver and 8mm wrench. Then tighten the choke cable clamp screw. Replace the air cleaner pipe and tighten the two 10mm nuts, and then replace the breather tube and fasten both clips securely. Reposition the fuel vent line and secure the clip for dual fuel units. Reconnect the wire connector on the side panel if necessary. Then reposition the side panel and tighten the three 10mm bolts. Make sure the front panel is correctly aligned. Reinstall the rear and side panels and securely tighten all screws around the unit. Replace the side access panel and tighten the knobs. And then replace the fuel lock nut and fuel cap. Lastly, Firmly reattach the spark plug cap and replace the small access panel. Your carburetor replacement is complete. Always follow the safety guidelines in your operator's manual, and for more help guides, visit the Champion Help Center at help.championpowerequipment.com.